Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play another game of Star Trek Attack Wing. Well, uh, they say that revenge is a dish best served cold, and I think that's exactly what Vinny's after today. Um, he's even got his Star Trek shirt on for the occasion. But uh, he saw me play the Borg Sphere in the last video and experience their power. This time he wants to, ex to experience that power for himself and beat the tar out of me. As for myself, I'm using a mix of ships, uh, ones that uh, we haven't seen before. So um, it should be an interesting game, to say the least. So with that said, let's take a brief look at what ships we picked and what upgrade cards go with them. As far as my forces are concerned, I have a Klingon Bird of Prey Cavort class, Martok as my captain. As far as the Romulan ship over here, it's a Valdor class, Denatra as my captain, and the Tactical Officer upgrade. As far as Vinny's forces are concerned, Borg 4270, Tactical Drone as the captain, 7 of 9, Borg Tractor Beam, Cutting Beam, Feedback Pulse. All of this comes to 70 points, mine came to 68 points. Okay, a few things to note before we get started, and this is just the usual stuff. I don't have a dedicated video camera, so the coloring may be off at times, as well as the lighting. Um, we play to have fun, uh, we try to get all the rules right, but uh, this is not tournament play. I'm not going to stress over missing a rule or two. Um, friendly comments are fine, but any rude comments, um, I have received them. Uh, any rude comments will be deleted. So with that said, let's go ahead and plan out our moves, and we'll get right back to you. Okay, activation phase. Um, let's see who starts. You have a captain skill of four for your tactical drone, so you get to go first. I have captain skills of eight, six and eight. So yeah, you would move first. So what do you got going there? Three straight ahead? Alright, let's find that. But just a game maneuver, so I might be there able to do some stuff. If wanted. If I wanted to, I can do some stuff. There you go, it's a green maneuver. For those of you who never want, have never watched these videos before, um, these objective tokens are obstacle tokens. Normally they would be flipped to the other side, but the camera picks it up a little bit better when used on this side. Okay, so you did three straight ahead in your action. What can I do? Um, was there like... You can do target lock, scan token, uh, regenerate. Um, regenerate only repairs hull, and you don't have any hull damage. Um, and any other things that your cards might have that could use an action. I'll use the uh, scan. Scan, okay. All right, um, let's see. Next up is the six, which is the Romulan ship. So I'm going to go four straight ahead. And for my action, I will go ahead and activate my cloak. So that goes right on top of there. All right, uh, finally we've got the Klingon ship that is also four straight, and I will do the same action this time. I will do, right, the mat's a little lopsided there. Okay, um, I will also take the cloak action. Put it on the base, there we go. Okay, so um, I don't think anyone's in range for combat here, so I'll just measure it real quick now. Okay, so yeah, that concludes um, the activation phase. Clean the cloak token, yeah, clean up. Um, at the end of this round, these cloak tokens go beside the ship. No one fired, so they stay green side up. All right, back on to planning. Okay, activation phase, starting with you. What do you got? Sure. One straight ahead. You're not uh, rushing into anything here, are you? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Is that smart? Scan. Scan token. All right. You're not in range for any sort of target lock. Or okay. tractor beam. Right. So you got a scan token there. Uh, next up is the uh, Romulan ship. That is a two slight turn toward the Borg ship. There's that. And for my action, let's see, I can do an evasive maneuver, target lock, um, Barrel roll, which really wouldn't help me out here just because the 360 firing arc, yeah, this is going to be a battle of attrition as opposed to maneuvering. Um, just because he could hit me no matter where I go. Um, and the scan tube would make you one less defense yeah, no. eye. Well, I think I'll do a target lock action. So let me do a WW. And finally, I've got um, the cavort. Three turn toward, um, that's not the right one. That one. Three slight turn 
toward the board ship. Cloak token stays with it. And I think for that action... Um, now it says here, Martok, after you move, choose one friendly ship at range, within range 1 to 2 whose captain has a lower skill than Martok's. Uh, the chosen ship may immediately perform one free action. So let me give my cavort an action and give this guy a free action. Um, let's see, what do I want to do with my Klingon? Um, I guess I'll do a target lock. Not much other, not much choice here. Alright, X and X. And for the free action for my Romulan ship, um, I already have a target lock. No sense in barrel rolling. I'll go ahead and take an evasive maneuver for defense. Okay, so, um... I believe that concludes movement, and we'll move on to combat next. Okay, combat phase, starting with the 8, which is the Klingon ship. Um, now, here's the thing to note. Uh, first, let's measure distance. Um, let's see. We are at range 3. However, I've got some things to consider here. Um, Alright, uh, Denatra, all other friendly ships within range 1 of your ship gain plus one attack die. So um, I, if I attack, I get an extra attack die with my Klingon ship. Uh, so I think I'll go ahead and do that. Um, so this flips to the opposite side red. I'm still considered cloaked for the rest of the round though. Um, all right, so I get four attack dice plus one from Denatra. You get zero defense plus one for being at range three. Now the scan token is for when you attack, so that doesn't matter. All right, so let me roll mine first, and we'll resolve it, everything else after that. Um, wow, that sucks. I'm going to spend my target lock <laughs> to re-roll the two battle stations and the two blanks. All right, I've got two hit, or, yeah, two more hits there. So I've got three hits, a blank, and a focus. I don't think there's anything else I can do about that. You mean battle station? I don't have battle station. So yeah, go ahead and roll your defense. Or yeah, not focus, battle station. So you got an evade there. So you've got two hits on your shields. Okay. So uh, next up, we have the Romulan ship. Um, I will go ahead, and that's also at probably range three. Yes, range Barely. three. All right, range three. Um, I don't get any uh, any bonus there, except for my tactical officer if I choose to use him. Um, so I get four attack dice, and you get one defense die for being at range three. Let me roll mine first. All right, I've got... Wow, okay. Um, do I keep my target lock? That's the question. I don't want to waste it on one die roll. Um, you know what? I think I'll keep the target lock for right now. Yeah, I'll keep the target lock. Let me flip this over to the reverse. Okay, um, one evasive. So you negate one hit, so you lose two more shields. Now it's my turn. Now it's your turn. I'll you get to clean six. Yeah, okay, so you get six attack die. Um... I don't and think there's anything else I can do about you, that. You get four. Well, five. I get I get one defense. I get one agility. It's one, plus my ability. Each time you defend while cloak, roll plus one defense dice. That's two, plus four for being cloaked. So I get minus one. So I get six defense die minus one for the scan token. So I'm at five defense die. Okay. Plus I have drones. That's a lot of math. Alright, so you've got two hits there. Uh, one hit, one critical. Hmm. So let me go ahead and... Um, Alright. What is it? What is it called? Uh, disable. He's new to the Borg, so... It's okay. I'll use one of the drones. To re-roll... Any amount of attack dice I choose. Oh, okay. One each. Does it say you can do that? Yeah. It says when attack, you may split one drone token to choose any number of attack dice and re-roll them dice. Oh. And the Borg are just freaking powerhouse. powerhouse. Okay. And plus I have a six die. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, you've got another hit there. Plus one board for the six. Okay. Plus six. Oh, okay, for the six. Hit. Okay, so you got four there. How much defense? 
Um, I've got five defense die. So, so you got three hits and a critical. I'm, I'm trying to think, because each time you attack with your primary weapon, I divide attack between two ships. Um, let me see. Each time you attack with your, you may divide your attack between two, you may divide your attack dice however you like, but you must roll at least one. So basically, um, so I guess you're supposed to split them before, but I mean, if you want to split them now, again, I'm not, this is, isn't tournament. So do you want to keep them against one? Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and roll mine. I've got three evade plus I, I don't have an evade token on him. Um, can I re-roll anything? No. Um, Alright, so I get three evade on four attacks. You so get I, one hit. I, I lose one shield. Okay. Alright, not too bad for our first combat here. And uh, we'll move back on to planning. Let's go ahead and resolve these cloak tokens. And this evade token, or evasive maneuver token. And the scan token. Alright, planning, here we come. All right, movement phase, starting with you. What do you got? One straight ahead. One straight. Okay. It makes you go very slowly. What range are you at? Well, you're within range of a target lock. Two. What is the range? For what? Darn it, I can't use the board tractor beam. The board, yeah, the board tractor beam is range one, I think. It's okay, you can use um, some other stuff there. You've got... Um, can I use that cutting beam? You can use the target lock. You can use the scan token. Target you can use seven of nine as an action to get more drones back. But you can only go to four. Because they said you may not accept your starting number of starting drones. Mine. Didn't you use one? Yeah. Oh, so okay. That would be two. It gets you two. Okay. All right. So what would you like to do? Target lock. Target lock. All right. Who are you attacking? And who might, are you targeting? I might use be less uh, influence. Yes, no, but dam probably more damage. Well, that game. The Klingon. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have the uh, Romulan. Oops, just flipped over the objective token. Um, there we go. One straight ahead. I knew what I was gonna do that. Darn it. That's why I should have did two. Closer range. Um, okay, and for my action, goodness, this is going to get messy. Um, see, if I cloak, I would get, hmm, if you cloak, I'm yeah. thinking, I've, I've got a target lock already, um, no, you can do like a, I'm, because I'm at range one. I'm getting some attack die. Right. I wonder if it's possible to cloak and then attack on the same round. Let me check the rule book. One moment. Okay, I consulted the rule book, and I don't see any problem with cloaking and then firing on the same round. Uh, so let's go ahead and just put a cloak token right on top of there. Um, I can still be the target of target locks at this point, but, um, yeah, I should still be able to fire. All right, so finally we've got the Klingon one straight ahead. Okay, and for my action, now again, I'm going to observe Martok's ability here um, after I do his action. Um, I guess I'll do another target lock. Actually, hmm, we'll see if you target that Klingon ship. You know what, I'll also take a cloak action to give myself some extra defense. And Martok's ability, after you move, choose one friendly ship at range 1 to 2. Where the captain has a lower skill than Martok. Um, so I get to choose a uh, free action for my Romulan ship, and what do I want to do? I guess I'll take an evasive maneuver token. All right, so that concludes movement, and on to combat. All right, combat phase, starting with, um, let's see, the Klingon. March. I'll use it. The Klingon? Fe no, the feedback. Oh, come on. Okay, <laughs> I know what you're going to be doing. Okay, um, so I'm going to attack with the Klingon. Um, you're waiting for, he's waiting for the Romulan ship because I'm at range one, so I get an extra tap die, and when he uses that feedback pulse, there's a chance that I'll get hit even more, so that's why he's waiting. Uh, I'm at range two, barely here. Um, 
So I guess I'll attack with Martok. I get four attack dice with him. I get zero. Apparently. All right, so that means I have to flip this over to the red side. <laughs> One hit, really. <laughs> All right, so... I don't even have a target lock. Yeah, I don't have a target lock. So you take one damage, I one, sh shields. one shield. I have three. You have three shields. All right, so I now you're down to two. two. All right, next up is the Romulan ship. You're going to use your <laughs> feedback pulse. I, I knew you have a target lock. I'm not spending my target lock. Well, I could spend my target lock to re-roll any hits. I could do that. Um, that would be the weird way. Of, well, no, because if you're going to... No, gonna, look. I have almost two shields left. If you get critical hits, then you don't want to... Really well, we'll see. All right. Well, all right. So I get four attack normally, plus one for being at range one. Actually, I forgot to roll an extra attack die for him on the previous round, so it's my fault. I'll, I'll eat that. But Donatra's special ability is I get a free attack dice with, uh, on a friendly ship. So I missed that opportunity. Oh, well. All right. So I'm going to attack with my five attack. I've got three hits. Um, I will spend my target lock to re-roll these three attack dice. Uh -uh. Or these three hits. All right, I've got two hits now in a, in a battle station. So what that does is um, half of the damage um, gets assigned to you, half to me. You cancel your damage. I take one damage. Um, I don't think that's I don't think it's possible to evade that, is it? Yeah. Just cancel. No, I mean if I can roll defense die to... I don't think I can roll defense no, die. No, you can't. Okay. Because I didn't... So I take one damage. Since my shields were down, I cloaked. Um, and I'm still considered cloaked. I take a face-down damage card for my Romulan ship. And you're, clo you're still cloaked. For right now, right. Mm -hmm. So you're for still going to be able to destroy you. It's possible. So who do you want to attack this round for your attack? Are you attacking the Klingon or the Romulan? Both are cloaked. Yeah, but he has more defense side, boy, because Robin. I don't Who are you attacking? The, uh, the Klingon? Yeah. Okay. Besides, he has no he has two shields, so we should be able to plus I attack over ground still. Alright, so you've got three you've got two hits and a critical and two battle station tokens. Uh, so, oh, the well, let's, let's first, um, you get six attack dice, and you're attacking him, so you roll an extra one. Yeah, if I want. Blank. Okay, so now you have two battle station and a blank. I'll use the tactical drone. All right, so now you're down to two drones. All right. Captain skill of two now. All right, so you got a critical there. How much hull do you have? Um. Klingon. The Klingon has five hull. Um. So, you get an extra roll, though, if you're going to roll that extra... I did. You had six, remember? Yeah, I did already. Oh, that's, you did already. That's how I got the uh, critical. Okay. Then the drone. So, two critical, two hits. So, I've got a roll now for me. I got one defense die, and apparently we're getting a phone call. Give me one minute. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so, um, since he used the feedback pulse, he gets an auxiliary power token. For my um, defense, though, uh, let's see here... What was I doing? All right, the Klingon gets uh, one defense normally. He's cloaked, however, so he gets an extra four on top of that. So I've got five defense side to use. Um, plus one. Each time you defend while cloaked, roll plus one deep. So I get six defense die. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I've got two evade. Let me roll my sixth one. Evade. So I've got three evade. Uh, so I get one damage. The critical. hits, so I get one critical hit. My shields are down, so I have to take a face-up damage card. Um, okay, minor explosion. Immediately roll one attack die. On a hit result, suffer one damage. Oh, crap. All right. So let me roll on a hit, suffer one. All right, so I'm just going to flip this card face down like it says, uh, and I take another face down hit. Okay, so bad round for the Klingon and Romulan troops. So let's go ahead, clean up these. Okay, you keep your auxiliary and on to planning. All right, movement phase starting with you. Um, you have, you're going one straight ahead, okay? 
That is a green maneuver. So that means that you get to remove the auxiliary power token and you get to take an action. You have a target lock already. All right, so you've got some actions here. I already have a target block. I can't regenerate, so scan. All right, now do you want to use your board tractor beam? I might not be in range. Of what? Well, do you want to I'm see? I'm not sure, because it has to be at range one. Okay, well, I mean, you've got other, sh you've got the Romulan ship there. I mean, it's up to you. I, and just... maybe Klingon. The Klingon is... Yeah, it's... A clean line might be... I'll do the Romulan. Alright, you're going to do the Romulan. All you right. can only go two. Well, no, that's... I can... What the card says, and this is something that we talked about in the last video. The card says that um, during the planning phase, the owner may not select a maneuver whose number is greater than two. The planning phase is already done. So if I'm still in the tractor beam... By next turn, then yes, I cannot move greater than two. I can still move whatever this says, though. Don't. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to use it. Well, do you want to use, I mean, do you want to do something else then? If, As if a we're going to move. It's up to you. Do you want to do something different than the yeah. Borg tractor beam? Okay. Scan token. Scan token. Busy guys. All right. Um, all right. So next up, we have the Romulan. We're going to move four straight ahead. Knew it. I'm trying to get out of here. And I don't think we're in range for it. I don't think we're in range one. So we'll see. Um, all right, so what goes with it? I will take a cloak action. How many cloaks? Can you keep using it, or do you have the weight of your turns? No, you can use it as many times as you want. I mean, you can't get an extra cloak token. And uh, finally, a four here as well. Four straight ahead. But you still have that maybe. Mm -hmm. Then finally we And I will also one. take a cloak. Did this um the uh, target lock work for the first this? No. The cutting beam needs a board tractor beam token. Yeah, but does a uh, target lock work no. as well? No. On it. No. Okay, so here we go. On to the combat. Alright, combat phase starting with you. Um actually I put the evasive maneuver token on here instead of cloak. <laughs> Uh, there we go. You're at range two for both ships. Hmm. So what would you like Who to attack? I cannot attack. I'm not in range. My rear firing arc um, only works for like weapons that support the rear firing arc, like torpedoes. Um, so you get to pick which ship you like to go after. He has less defense, so I'll choose him. All Unless right. he has less shields. All right, so you're attacking the Klingon. I get six defense die. A six attack die. Those are at range two. Almost at range one. Alright, so roll your six. Plus I have that to use if needed. I could. I wanted to. Three oh blank. God. Get roll one more. Roll your other one. For your six. There you go. So two hits. Um so you get two hits. You're gonna spend another drone. <laughs> roll three. So you're at one. Yeah, you've got one. <laughs> I have one by the skill I can get two back if I wanted to. Let's see what else can I do. Alright. Alright, movement phase, starting with you. Uh what do you got? It's one. One that one. I face down this way. You're facing this way. Wait, huh? No. Yes, no. you're facing this way. Yeah, but I'm going down. Oh, backward. You're going backward. Okay. Yeah. That's by one. Okay. So, and that's a white maneuver, surprisingly. Okay. So there's that. I'm not going to... I'll do a... Yeah. I'm going to keep using the scan token. Scan. Okay. <laughs> scan token is awesome. Next up, we have the uh, Romulan. It's three... Turn. Which is very far. Let's and for my action, I will take, um, oh boy. 
Um, hmm. I'll take an evasive maneuver. And the Klingon ship here. Oh yeah, these are so flip over. They're red. Mm -hmm. Three. Look out. What are you doing? I'll leave them. No, I was just putting them down. All right, well, let's do it. I'll do that later. Okay. All right. And uh, for my action, I'll get to take an action with him and then give the Romulan an action. I will take um, the barrel roll action. Does he have the barrel roll action? Yeah, when you're cloaked. It's, well, it's a sensor roll, or it's a sensor echo is what it's called in this game. And I'll give her a free action. I will also take the sensor echo. Okay, um, all right, so that concludes movement, and we'll see if combat is possible. All right, combat phase, let's see if you're in range. Yes. Range three, range three, okay. So who would you like to attack? Him. Who? Him. The Romulan? Okay. I still have my, I might be able to destroy him. All right, so you've got six attack dice. You get six defense. Well, we'll get there when we get there. All right, so you've got four blank, and a, you get one more roll for your sixth attack. Hit. All right, so you got a hit there. Um, so you got one hit. You're going to spend your last drone. I just need three hits. All right, so you've got three hits there. All right, now you, you get an extra roll, don't you? Yeah, I already rolled that. That's how I got the hit. No, I mean for your sixth attack dice. Remember you had six? Yeah, I did that. Oh, because I can re-roll one more. Yeah, yes. Uh-huh, good. Ro yeah, see? I'm fair. Hit. See, there you go. Four hits. Okay, okay. so my I get one at range three. Um, two, naturally. So two naturally, one for being at range three, four for being cloaked. So that's seven. Minus one. Minus one, six. So like six defense die. Yes. All right, three evade, and and I have an evade. I have an evade token here. So that's four evade, uh, plus this one. So I don't even need to keep you, you, rolling. You had this up. I know I did, but I had an extra evade and three evades here. So that negates the damage. And that concludes combat. Let's go ahead and I keep, keep my cloak tokens. Scan token. All right, back on to the planning phase. Okay, movement, starting with you. What do you got? Three. Oh, it says this way. Oh, I mean, I meant. You mean that way? Okay. Yeah, because that's the that's forward. Fine. So, all right, so where's it? Okay, so what you do is you put it like this. You spin it. All right. And then... Three this way. Because of, that was four that way. So. Okay, that's fine. And you get an action. You have a target lock. All right. Seven of nine, as an action. Disable. I huh? disable it. No, seven of nine action. Disable this card and add up two drone tokens. Okay. So I'm at two. So you're at two drones again. <laughs> okay, um, next up we've got the Romulan. I'm doing a 3K turn. You're right near an asteroid. You actually might have to fight your an asteroid. I get a uh, auxiliary power token for that one. Uh, cloak stays with it though. Yeah. Finally, four straight ahead. Uh, which I think is kind of close. All right, and let's see what let's I can see. do. Um, can you still get a. Extra Let me see if I can barrel roll without going off the map. Or, no, I can't. No sensor echo there. Um, I will take... Go in front of them. <laughs> I'll take an evasive maneuver token, and I get a free... I get to give the Romulan ship a action. Are you allowed to, though, even when he has an auxiliary? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just says the chosen ship may immediately perform one free action. So, um, I will take the... Um, 
I could take an evasive. I could. I'll take the target lock. But you might not be in range. Well, we'll see. All right. So that concludes movement onto combat. Combat phase, starting with the Klingon, not in range, Romulan. No, it's fine. Re, Barely. Re range. Okay. So let's move this out of the way. Okay, so tack. Okay, so I get four. No, four tack dice. I'm at range three. I get one defense die. Okay. So, alright, so let me go ahead and roll my four tack then. Now I get some moves here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, spend my target lock to re-roll these two. Now, I have a tactical officer ability here. Um, all right, I'm going to use my uh, tactical officer. When removing your target lock from an opposing ship in order to re-roll your attack dice, you may re-roll each attack die one additional time. Three, okay. So I've got two hits and a critical there. So you get one defense die for being at range three blank. So you take um, two hits and then a critical. So the Critical is the injured captain. What is this? You cannot use your captain's text or any of your upgrades. So unless I use the regenerate ability. Right, which is on your next. So you can't you can't use your drones to do your thing. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, that's what the card really? says. It or any of your card. elite. I don't have elite. Right, but it also says or any of your captain's text. So you can't use anything listed on the captain card here. So you can't use your drones. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you Am get I six. In range? You're in range. No, I mean for him. For the Klingon? Yeah. No. So close. So I can't use the clone, but still, that injured pilot's are gone. Injured captain. Did it? This is an X-wing. I thought I had something here. I did an action, right? Uh, you did, you had a, what did you, what I think was, I used a scan, I believe, but it doesn't matter. No, you used seven of nine to get drones back. Oh, yeah. I read about that. Uh-huh. Okay, so you get. Oh, my God. Wow. You get an extra roll for that. All right, five hits. Oh. Four hits and a critical. I'm, my Romulan's screwed. Okay. <laughs> I get, um. I get two defense die, plus one for being at range That's three, seven. three, plus four for being cloaked. So I need to roll a lot of evades here. I've got three evades, and I get, um, so I get two more defense die. All right, so three evade. Four. So you get into four. What do you mean? Three here, plus one here. No, he have right, he doesn't have one. So he three evade. Points. I get. I take a face up and a face down. Um, damage sensor. You cannot perform the actions listed on your action bar. As an action, roll one attack die on a hit result. Flip this card face down. And a plane. Okay. And another one. And a plane one. All right. So I've got six damage there. Okay. So that resolves combat. How much hull do you have? I have six hull, three damage. All right, so on to the planning phase. All right, movement phase, starting with the board. Um, one straight ahead. Just this way. It's a green maneuver. And um, now for your actions, you can do one of two things. I mean, you can do a scan. You can regenerate. Uh, regenerate means that you can repair that critical, but you won't be able to attack this round. Or you can undisable seven of nine. Scan. Scan token. Next up, we have the Valdor class. One straight. It's a green maneuver. Actually, I had an auxiliary power token. I don't know what happened. I must have removed it during the end phase. But yeah, I had one. That is a green maneuver that gets rid of it. Um, and for my action, I will roll one attack die to try and get rid of this damage. Critical. Okay, um... Not exactly sure how to resolve a critical. It doesn't say that I can roll, okay, on a hit result. Okay, I guess I can't, I can't remove it because I have to roll a hit. So I'm guessing it's that damage stays there. 
All right, so next up we've got um, the Klingon 3K turn. A red maneuver. Oh, you're still cloaked. And still cloaked. So Target lock on me. Um, now, I don't get to take an action, but it says immediately after I move, choose, uh, the sh choose another ship with lower captain skill. The chosen ship may immediately perform one free action. So even though I can't perform an... Well, my ability says you cannot perform the actions listed on your action bar. So I guess Martok's ability... I guess the damage wouldn't allow that. So I guess I can't do that. Okay, so unfortunately this ship is in trouble. Uh, nothing else I can really do at this point. So let's go ahead and move on to combat. Alright, combat phase starting with the Klingon is out of range. The Romulan ship can attack. Um, so I'm going to start with him. So I moved a green maneuver. And this is something I forgot to take into factor before. Apparently the special ability on this ship, if you perform a green maneuver, add plus one attack die for the remainder of this round. That's something I could have used before, but again, I'm new to these cards, new to these ships. So, um, oh well. So I get five attack die okay. at range two. You get zero. So I have to hope that I get something here. All right, I got two hits. So can I reroll anything? No. Okay, so I'm, that's, I'm done with that. So two damage to you. So you've got three damage cards on your ship. Um, you get to fire back. Um, I have my shields up now. Unfortunately, I, that means I won't be rolling as many defense die. Okay, so you get six attack die. Let's see. Mm. Damn, so you, you don't get roll any, you only roll one. Tag. I roll one, yeah, because of my scan token. Mm, or because of your scan token, yep. Alright, so you got three hits there. So I get one, one, oh, you get it, go ahead. You get a sixth one, uh-huh. I got it, four, nice. I get one, alright, so I take four hits there, I lose three shields. One hit. One hit, so I have four haul. I'm da I have four hits now against my six, so I, two hits and wait, I'm gone. I, I, no, you're good. How much hold do you have for your... Klingon, four. So they're almost dead, just put it that way. So we'll resolve now. Scan token's gone and everything else is done. So we'll go ahead and move back on to planning. All right, movement phase, starting with you. You are moving one backward, okay? And for your action, what would you like to do? Scan. Scan token. I will, let's see, who's next? The Romulan mm. is moving one slight turn. Uh, probably going to be a range one, Blake. Well, nah, I don't know about that. Um, again, I'll have to try and get rid of this, this damage here, this damage sensor array. Come on, repair. Come on! <laughs> The engineers aboard that Romulan ship are stupid. How do they get their degree? They went to the College of no! Here. Oh my god. Hey, we, all right, so what's next? Three. Three. You actually might not be in range. Oh, we'll see. You're right behind the ship, too. We are. All right, so I retain my auxiliary power token. Um... And I think that's all I can do. Can't take an action with that thing on there. All right, so that concludes movement back onto combat. Okay, combat phase, starting with the Klingon, range three. Um, the Klingon gets four attack die normally, but um, looks like plus one. The Romulan skill says all other friendly ships within range one of your ship gain one attack die. Uh, just to show, yeah, range one. So I get five attack die here. Um, all right, uh, three hits, two battle stations, so you got one defense die, battle station, so you take three hits. I have seven hull, so. Seven hull. So you got six damage, you're up to six. Um, I'm going to die. We'll see, I don't know, my Romulan could, uh, my, my Romulan engineers are pretty bad, maybe my gunners are just as bad. Range two. Four attack. I just need one freaking hit. 
One freaking hit. Give me a hit. Give me a hit. No! <laughs> oh my god! Really? One? My gunners are stupid too! The only thing they can do is turn the cloak on and off. That's all they can do. Oh my. <laughs> oh. Come on! Remind me never to pick the Notra as a captain ever again. Okay. Okay. No. Wait, wait. Wait, do I get... How many attack die did I use? Four. Did I just do a green maneuver? I did a green maneuver, didn't I? No, you... Uh, you did Romulan? Yeah. yeah. So I get one extra attack die. If you perform a green maneuver, add one... Plus one attack die for the remainder of this round. If this is a hit, then it's game. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> battle stations, really? Everyone's at battle stations, but no one can hit this freaking fire button on the... All right. Super. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Okay. You get to attack. Someone's blowing up. All right. Attacking. Maybe. Please take... Get these Romulans out of their misery, please. Please, just take them out of their misery. They deserve it. They had five, five chances to hit them, and they didn't. Oh, God. Okay, I'll take them out of misery. Yeah, okay, so you get what? Five. Six, six attacks. Six attacks. You only get one. One? Well, Two. One, because the Let's radar. hope the Borg are terrible aimers, although I doubt it. Two, a critical, two hits. Go ahead, roll your six. Oh, another hit. So four, four hits. You're not defending that. Battle stations. There's a shock. They're ready for battle, but they can't do anything when they're there. All right, so I get a ton of cards. All right, so the Romulan. Three attack. I'm just going to kill it. There. All right. So this this could be it. Okay, so At last. resolving tokens. All right. Unless I can do this. We'll see. All right, so on to planning now. All right, movement starting with the board. What do you got? Two backward. That's what my action is. What? All right. Dun, dun, dun. What are you going to do? Repair. All right, regenerate. So you cannot attack this round, for the record. Hold on. Wait, I'm not. You're going to take out the critical instead? Yeah, because I have two yellow. All right. So... That concludes that. I move two, Wait, no. two straight ahead. It is a green maneuver. So I right, lose the auxiliary power token, and I will take a target lock action at range three. Where's my target lock? Uh, here, I just took it. <laughs> X, X, there we go. X and X. Okay, um, I think that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and just do combat now. I will attack. Um, I've got four attack dice at um, range three, so you get a defense die. I can't attack anything. Right. I've got two hits and two criticals. Okay. I think this is game. Okay, evade. So that's you take that results one hit. You get two face up criticals and one face down. I and have five. You have five, so you t you are up to eight hall damage. Okay, so the Borg are defeated. Hold well, on, no, let's see. <laughs> I think you want to resolve your critical damage. Choose one of your those and discard it. Okay. There you go. Warp core breach. Warp core breach. So you're. Let's roll a deck dice. <laughs> no. Okay. Wait, I get a battle station. I change it to. <laughs> <laughs> What are you trying to do? Blow up your Borg sphere even more than it is? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good game. Good game. And there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this game. Um, apparently the Borg can be defeated um, with a little bit of luck and some uh, competent gunners. Apparently the Romulans are not competent gunners. So I think we'll just leave it at that. Um, you can check out my review of the base game at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com or you can click on the links in the below description that will take you there as well. Uh, this is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.